are thankful for 2015 and the way God did what He did. Um, God is a faithful God, and um, I thank God for you. I thank God for me, and I thank God for the pastoring. I thank God for the leadership of the church. I thank God for everything that happened. And um, I was still joking with somebody. I said just a few minutes to 2016, but I think God still wants to do something. Uh, 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 about the greater light, you know, to someone because he's faithful to his word to the teeth. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I'm excited about that, and then um, I just really want to bless God for this opportunity. Can you still hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank God. Uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word today. We we are hungry to hear your word. We are hungry to be fed by your divine manner. Tonight, Lord, as we view the name here in front of us, let your word rain like a cloud. Let it fall upon us. And let there be illumination. Let there be a change. Let there be a new living way. Let there be a new revelation. Let there be manifestation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I quickly just want to say this. Um, I believe 2016 is loaded. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to hear uh, uh, what God has to say. But I want to show you something from 2 Corinthians chapter 3. I know we don't have all the time, uh, but we just want to really hear something from what God told me. Hallelujah. Uh, in, in, uh, you know, you want to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, or what we read in verse 8. And uh, it's somewhat a question, but it's very interesting. Paul is writing to the Corinthians in chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, and he is saying to them in verse 8. And I believe that's the word of God to all of us as a nation, as our house nation. That's the word of God to, to us tonight, and for the year in front of us. That's the He says, but, uh, well, he says, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious. Hallelujah. How shall the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? God wants to do something in 2016. He wants to minister to your spirit in a way that He has never done before. Every time God speaks the way He, t- he spoke to me this last time, I will not. I will tell you the truth. There is a new dispensation coming to the church of Jesus. And that God has finished everything he wanted to do in Christ. But there are different dispensations. There are different times that he decides to do something. Sometimes higher, sometimes lower. But I tell you, in 2016, something big is coming. Look at somebody and tell them, something big is coming to you in 2016. But God told me, he said, I'm going to minister in a different way. There will be a more glorious ministration in 2016. And I believe strongly that's what God's about to do. The next one I want to show you will be from Isaiah chapter six, uh, 60. If you will turn that with me. That is the root word of scripture for 2016, for the word for 2016. If you will, please uh, just go there with me. It says in verse 1 to verse 2, it says, Arise, shine. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the church said, Amen. Amen. I'm excited about that because when God is ministering to your spirit, that means he's putting his glory in your spirit. And when his glory is in your spirit, you exude, the, you exude the power of God. Everyone around you, everyone beside you, everyone that knows you cannot deny that there is a new glory upon you. Look at yourself. Touch your own chest and say, there's a new glory upon my life. Hey! So there is about to be a shining, praise the Lord. You know, in 2016, you know, in 2015, God said it's a year of the greater light. And when you read the scripture very well, it says your light has come. In our house, nation, our light has already come in 2015. But 2016, we are moving to a higher realm and maximizing what that light is. Hallelujah. I would like to share with you one or two things that he told me 
We're going to make it available on Facebook for those of you that want to read all, all of it. But I'm just going to share a little with you here, and then we can move on from there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we hear Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in, in my prayer, after I began to believe God for 2016, in my prayer, I saw a multitude, a lot of people crossing a deep valley. And uh, a strong iron was laid in front of them as a bridge. And many were seen crossing from this side to the other side of the valley. And um, uh, the valley, uh, there was so much light in front of them, there was so much light in front of them, almost uh, one that could blind your eyes. And the people crossing, I noticed that they had skills. They had skills. They were very skillful in, 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 in moving through or uh, moving on, on that bar of iron that was laid in front of them. And uh, behind the valley was actually a very dark cloud and a people wearing black linen. Then the voice said to me, so he, said to, he said to me, son, behold, a new spiritual age has come to my church, and I will arise upon them and in them, and in a new way, and behind is my judgment. What you see behind you, that is the people who were in darkness and were wearing a, a, a very a black linen. He said, behold, behind is my judgment cloud upon the enemy of my church for the last age. That is the people who have persecuted the church and the things that represent darkness in the church of Jesus. He said, that, that's the cloud that I saw behind me. And the cloud represents the evening of their judgment. And their acre represents their deeds, their deeds against my church. So behold, the year of judgment, the, the, the year is going to be the year of judgment for the enemy of my church. So I will spoil their gates of brass and I will shatter their bars of iron. So I will, I'm calling my church to a new strength. And a new place. He said, My presence will be seen with them like never before. So let's say amen to that. He said, And the whole world shall again see like see like the people of Antioch, that my presence shall be upon my creation, and undeniable miracles shall take place in the city of your solemnities, and it shall be to a hundredfold, and I will it will be a season of shining. Hallelujah. So a new spiritual age shall begin. He said, uh, he said it, shall, it, it shall be a decade of revival out of my church. He said to them, which are years. 2016 is not a beginning of a year. He said, but it's a beginning of another prophetic dispensation in me. He said it shall be a decade of prophetic winds and, and, and across my church. to a year of mountain, shall it be. A new sound of worship will be heard in the earth. A year of worship it shall be. He says, strength you shall bring forth. He said, it's a year of judgment of Balaam. He said, for I will judge forces that won't let my people go. He said, it's a year of the judgment of Balaam. He said, a revival by the wind is coming to the spiritual deserts. Shall, and men shall be fed with waters from above. He said, this glory will expose falsehood in the church. Men shall fall into shame because I have not called them and they have not revered my name. He said, and I saw another revelation, a dark cloud moving in the spirit of firmament, and the darkness revealed for a moment. After which I heard the same sound, the same voice. The sound came like a rushing cloud. Behold, it was bright, and it was though they were there were two firmaments. He said, and the lunar cloud moved through the dark, the cloud, the dark cloud, and its darkness became wicked and disappear. And the same voice that spoke to me said, My church have endured dark clouds of persecutions and killings. Therefore, there is a new cloud that is gathering, till their light shall penetrate the dark cloud and overcome and subdue it. The clouds of persecution and terrorism shall be overcome. He said, I will, I, I will, I have given you the rulership of the night. He said, I will empower political, political officers, offices, Beyond their strength to overcome terrorism for the sake of my people. So the government shall seek wisdom from the church like never before. So the world shall see a new glow coming out of Zion, for she shall be in the power. So I will, he said, I have said the mission to Damascus has failed. 
So therefore, great conversions to Christianity shall be seen like never before. So in 2016, there will be a great conversion of thousands into Christianity. They said it shall be a year of the greatest conversion. So it shall be told as a parable that Zion has travailed, but has brought forth in one day, in one nation, a nation and in one year. A nation shall be born. So men shall be born of God, like a flowing stream. The Gentiles shall flow into Zion, for our God has rebuked the fury of their enemy. He said, Glory will not yield upon my church in, in, new, in a new way that shall take, that shall take, that, that they shall say to you, Take us to your God. He said, The glory shall arise like the seven ray of sun, and shall melt every work of the devil and the enemy. He said, My people shall leave in the, in the place of light. As they shall leave as the people of light in the dark world. You want to check in Ephesians chapter 5, you know, in that with that. It says, Behold, I will raise seven fold standard, and raising, behold, I'm calling David into the camp to show forth my praise in the earth. It said, it's, it's the year of the unknown sons and unheard sons and daughters. It says, shall, it says they shall shine in their anointing to rule nations. So their grace shall rise like the beam of the, of the dawn. For the battle is for them to win. They shall make crooked ways straight by the anointing. Let them say to the nation, be free, be free, be free. For the church has come into a new stature of the anointing, and a new spirit of the church shall be born. And again, I saw three doors open with a force. And I looked to see what sort of force it was. And behold, I saw a great cloud of redness, a, a, a great cloud with redness in the firmament, and his voice was heard again. And he said to me, Behold, the year of the wind of the gospel. So the three doors represents the doors of ministries. The force represents the penetration of the gospel in three major cities and cultures that have rejected the gospel in the world. He said, suddenly, and I, and late, I saw suddenly, I heard the sound of many doors opening in my spirit. For the winds had gone through the houses and nations with doors shut against the gospel. And the voice that spoke said, Behold, the hardened heart are receiving the gospel into their hearts. For I am knocking the doors of their heart with a force in 2016. Like the days of Noah, only eight people got saved. Till today, the new age has come to my church. The billions of the world population shall come to the ark. They said, Christianity will shine again in the world. So go and preach the gospel of Noah. The devil's plan is to tune the heart of people against the gospel of Noah. He said, he succeeded the first time. He said, but I have raised me a creation that cannot be overcome by the devil. He said, get ready and access the grace that I have made available for you as a church. He said, he said that shall be. He said, go and preach for I'm raising preachers in tribulation. And I'm raising preachers preaching the gospel of Noah. He said, tell them, tell them that it's the year of supernatural defining of things. He said, tell the super because he said men will tell the natural where to go. He said, let them I let my church roll the wheel of revival. Let them go to every man in the earth. Take up the Noah challenge. Bring, compel men into the ark. After, after concerning salvation, he said many needs to revisit what they said when they said they were praying and they're coming into Christ. He said they are they are praying the wrong kind of prayer. This was something I know we preached about for a while, but it just it, it's just big. He said my 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 coming is at hand. He said but a lot of people assume that they are saved when they are not really saved. Because no one, he said, no one unlocks salvation by confessing his own sins. He said, let the church wake up as a whole and let them go back to what it means to be saved. For many assume that they are saved when they are not. For they confess their own sins for them to come. So behold, I give you a proverb for the king of Babylon that shall fall in its towers, and the truth shall stand as an enemy in the heart of men. And no power can resist and be raised. Said so to you, it shall be a year of extreme supernatural expressions. Mm. So my God, my church shall look and they shall see the glory. He said, but for my church, the world shall see the glory of her faith, and she shall see what she has believed 
in 2016, a hundredfold. And this is said to me, say to my church, this day, the year of transfiguration is before her. He said, the year in front of her shall be the year of the hidden heaven. Saturated with visible is divinity. He said, the year of, it shall be the year of a great slave and a great creation and a great baptism into Christ. So for I shall be the God of their shining. So your greater light has come. Behold, it's time to arise and shine in my glory. So because the light has come to you, said so it, it, it's time to shine with a shining one. He said that's Jesus. He said shine as the stars of the earth. He said the glitters of the new age has come. He said the darkness of sin shall be put out by a new divine brilliance. He said the darkened plains shall be lighted. He said it's the year of the glorious ministration of the Spirit. No man shall light. No man shall need permission to shine. Because their light is with, shall be with them. So act in the light and let the rising begin in your spirit. He said it's your year of divine prayers. He said in 2016, watch this now. You are going to wake up and you're going to you are going to wake up to the night time of the world. And but for you, your light shall be the beginning of my walk with you, and my glory beaming in you like a beacon in their night. He said, nations and tribes shall be, shall, be, shall be lit with a shadow of my church, for the year of your shadow is here. And he said to me, he said, say to the church that 2016 shall be the year of the great rising and the great shining. Hallelujah. It shall be the year of the great shining and the great rising. Said because there shall be a higher Shekinah, even in my church, there shall be a higher Shekinah in my church. And God is said to do something. I just want to say this to you before I go off, because we are getting ready for our own service here. But I want to tell you something very important. When God says that it's our year of the great, of the great shining and the great, the great rising and the great shining, this is what it means. It means that God wants to do something big in your life. He wants to shine to you. Listen, Jesus, the Bible says, uh, He said, You will see me in Galilee. You will, after His resurrection, after He had risen. The, the one thing I want to also tell you is this. Uh, when, when the Bible says, Arise and shine, can you tell somebody and say, Arise? Arise. When the Bible says, Arise, He's not talking to someone that is alive. He's a statement of a sovereign God addressing dead things. Yes. So what he's saying now is we are arising from the obscurity and the darkness that has over and around the church Hallelujah. and even in your life. Some of you are praying, but you never saw some things. Some of you have uh, believed. Some of you prayed and worshiped and you kept meditating, but nothing happened. And it, it seemed like towards the end of 2015, you could really never come to something that God did. I heard some people give testimony that maybe you were not really qualified because nothing happened. But I'm about to tell you that 2016, from day one, like I said, God said you're going to wake up to the night of the world. But you are going to wake up to the dawning of your own Why? Because he said you are rising, meaning you are coming out of what was dead. What was dead is being commanded to come. What seemed dead was is coming alive right now. You know, the angel at the tomb in the Gospel of Mark asked Mary and the disciples, question. He said, why do you seek for the living of the dead? You know what that means? It means that the angels never expected anybody to come to the resurrection uh, to the tomb. Because Jesus didn't tell anybody to come to the resurrection I mean, to the tomb. Why? Because I'm going to resurrect. That's what you see. So they all showed up at the tomb just to check whether it was, it was going to happen. But you see, they had a reason. The angels asked that question because they wondered, why did you have to show up? There's no reason for you to come to confront whether he had reason. Why are you looking for him that was dead? But they call him leader. And that's why I know that everything that was dead in your life, no matter how long it was dead, no matter what the doctor's report is about your body or no matter what you're going through, the things that some of you are afraid to write things down because 2015 really did do such good things to you. Some of you have allowed your fear to shape your dream. 
But tonight, God is lifting that spirit of fear. And God is bringing his overshadowing you and is ministering to your spirit. And he's putting his glory in your spirit. And he's saying, arise. You saw Jesus transfigured before the disciples. But now he's calling his church to transfigure before him. Because he's saying, so you can imagine in Matthew 17, Jesus is saying to Peter and, and, and John and James, shine. He's telling them to, because the word shine actually means to give light. The word shine there actually means to, to be to be, to be illuminous. It means to, to give forth that light. And then when you read for that Isaiah 16 verse 3, he said, Gentiles will come into the brightness of your rising. And what happens is, you know, the, 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 the ultimate reason for this shining is that Gentiles will come into the church. And the mountain of the Lord will be lifted high above every other mountain. But you are the one to bring them. You are the one. Your light will shine so bright that they will come and you will glorify your Father. And I want to pray for every man and every woman that struggle to operate in what God said in 2016. Because these are the sayings of a faithful God. This is not a man that is high or cold or something saying something to you. Right now in your spirit, God is putting his glory in it. And is causing you to shine and rise and shine in places that was you were seemingly dead or weak. God is calling things that are dead life. And he's saying, I want you to shine. Praise the Lord somebody. And that's what I see you doing in 2016. I see you shining. I see you Amen. increasing on every side. Amen. I see the glory of God and now see the glory of God upon the Amen. The church of Jesus is coming to a new age. And that's because and that's because you are coming into a new age as, as well. Amen. Your faith is about to grow up. And things about a change for the better in your life. In the Amen. I want you to do something. Can you hold your hands with your neighbor and let's pray together just for a minute, just for about one or two minutes tonight? Can we rise for a few and do this together? Let there be, let there be faith in that move right now. I'm talking to Liberia, I'm talking to Canada, I'm talking to South Africa, Cape Town, and we know that God is set to do something to our house as a nation. And that's why I'm expecting and I expect you to shine in this season. It's our year of the of the great shine, great rising, and the great shining. Because the Lord, because God has prepared a higher Shekinah for us. And this is the time for us to rise. I want you to open your mouth right now and pray for your neighbor and pray and command that there shall be the year, it shall be east or a year of the great rising. When I say great rising, I mean the person is going to rise from the grave to the garden. I'm talking about the rising from a place nobody thought it would ever relax from a day as high as it becomes from the Shining in that city, shining in that family, shining in that job. So stop your street because God is so ready to know. The church of Jesus is about to stay at the heart of that faith and the world. He said to me, I'm sure you heard the message. He said, the people of the world are about to see this church. They will be so happy. They will come up as a result of the church. Oh, I'm like this. Not tonight, I'm going to be a church of God.